Hi, my name is Drew Schertz, and I'll be sharing how to run an Angular app locally with Docker and Nginx. A little about me, you can find me on Twitter at Drew Schertz. I'm a software engineer currently working at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. There are a few tools we'll be using in this presentation, Node, NPM, Visual Studio Code, Docker, and Angular CLI. We won't be covering the install of Node and NPM in this tutorial, but you can download both together at nodejs.org. I'll be using VS Code as the editor of choice for this tutorial. Installing Docker Desktop will provide you with the CLI and the UI executables. You can also validate the install using Docker dash dash version. You can install the Angular CLI using this global NPM command. With these tools in place, let's create an Angular app with the default settings. After creating the default project, it will run npm install for you. Depending on your internet connection, it can take a while. Now let's validate the Angular app runs correctly with ng-serve. Once the build and compilation complete, it will start the local server on localhost port 4200. Let's open up the browser and take a look. I've already got my uh, server running and go ahead and open up Chrome. And this is port 4200. Refresh that and it is running locally off of Angular uh, without Docker. Now we'll go ahead and create a file named Docker file. The init cap and no extension are on purpose. We'll create another file named .docker ignore and add the folder name node modules. This allows us to ignore our dependencies just like we do with a .git ignore file. We'll be using a two-stage process for building out our Docker file. Our first stage will add a node image, copy all of the Angular files to our working directory, run npm install to add the project dependencies, and finally, we'll build the app with npm. Our second stage for our Docker file, we'll use an Nginx image, set the working directory for Nginx assets, remove any default assets from the Nginx image, copy our node as static assets from the builder image we just created, and specify the entry point for our Docker container to run Nginx. You can add an additional configuration file for Nginx to match your local settings with those of lower test lanes and production. But for this exercise, I'll keep it simple. With these two stages added to our Docker file, we are ready to build an image called Angular Nginx Docker. The build completed will look like this. It can take a few seconds to a few minutes to run that. When the build is complete, you can validate the image was created with Docker image LS. It will show all the Docker images you have on your computer. Building complete, enter when ready. Now you can start a container serving up our app on localhost port 8080. Let's go ahead and jump over to the browser, over to uh, the terminal and open up this server. Doesn't have any output on this uh, until you start running, uh, opening up the browser and loading assets. That's our 4200 4, local. We'll go to 40 localhost 8080 and refresh that. And it is running correctly out of Docker using an Nginx server. After the container is up and running, you can see which containers are up with the command docker container ls. When you make changes to your Angular app, you will need these to create a new Docker image. Use these when the container is still running. The hash at the end of these commands is the SHA-256 hash created when the container is built. Thank you for your time today. I'm glad I've had this opportunity to share. It has helped me learn a lot about Docker and Nginx. I plan on using this with my current projects at work.